this is David Ellis and today we're going to work on improving your flat picking abilities. Today's video has to do with lead in runs for some of the chords you play in standard bluegrass tunes. We'll use the same techniques we used in recent videos to accomplish these runs. Let's take a look. We'll take a look at a few basic lead in runs for the G major, C major, and D major chords. Let me show you a couple of ideas with the G major chord. Okay, for the first uh, one, we're going to start off on the G major run. Uh, we're going to start on the D major chord, starting on the bass note of the fourth string, play one measure and a half of the second measure. Then on the sixth string, we're going to play that open, then the second fret, and then the third fret leading into the third measure, which puts us back into a G major chord. So to repeat that, we start off on D. Then moving into the next variation, we're going to start on that same D major chord, play one and a half measures, and then on the, top, on the sixth string, the open sixth string, second fret, then we'd hit the third fret, play the chord, and then do a hammer on the fifth string from the open fifth string to the second fret strum the chord, end up on the top string, or the sixth string. And repeating that, starting on the D. And then the last variation will be similar to what you would have heard Lester Flat do at the end of uh, some of his phrases. Uh, we start on that same D major chord, play one and a half measures, then up to the sixth string open, second fret, then the top string at the third fret, then on the fifth string we're going to do a hammer from the fifth string open to the first fret, then a down stroke on the second fret, an upstroke on the fourth string open, downstroke on the second fret, and upstroke on the fourth string, the third string open, and then a chord, hammer on the fifth string as in the previous exercise, finish out the chord. Okay, and here's the whole thing starting at the D major chord again. Now let's look at a C major chord. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a standard run into a C major chord. We'll begin by playing a G major chord, first measure and a half. At the end of measure two, we'll do the open fifth string, second fret, ending on the third fret. And as you end on that third fret, form the C major chord, strum, and then we're going to hit the top string, finish out the C major chord, and then on measure four, you go back to the full form C major. So to repeat that, it's going to look like this. And then I have a second variation. We'll start on that same G major chord for a measure and a half. Do the same lead-in run as the previous exercise. 
you end up on the C note, strum the C chord. Then we're going to do a little bit of a run, starting on the fourth string open, second fret, third string open, and then the upstroke on the C note on the second string, back to the fifth string, and finish out the chord. So that played out will be. And lastly, we'll look at a lead in for D major. Okay, on this one, we're going to do a standard run into a D major chord. On this particular exercise, we'll start with a G major, play a measure and a half in G major. Then we'll go to the fifth string at the second fret, the fifth string at the third fret, and then we'll end up on a D major chord. Repeating that, starting with the G. And then the last variation, we're actually going to start with the C major chord for a measure and a half. And the end of measure two, we'll do a downstroke on a third fret, upstroke on the second fret, third fret, and then end up on the fourth fret with an upstroke leading us into the D major chord. And to repeat that. Use these lead-in runs while you play rhythm at your next jam session and then tear off into one of the previous lead breaks we've discussed. I look forward to helping you make your flat picking great.